Hello, welcome to Simplosion, the show that begins with X and doesn't. I will fortune to each and every one of you, and I feel you're getting better with each passing day. We're going to start off with the African Queen. And I'm going to do it with slides instead of the picture, instead of the, the movie, because I want you to see the detail in these people's faces so you can register what they're feeling. So here we are. We open up with the first slide. We're in German East Africa. August of 1914 was a key month. We had declarations of war and invasions in Europe. So this is the month afterwards. There's a peaceful village where Samuel Sayer is an Anglican missionary. So he's there and he is under the um, auspices of the Anglican Church with his sister Rose and they are in this church, this is his church, his um, his sister Rose leads the music and Samuel is in total control of his created reality and expresses himself easily within that context. Rose is in total control of her created reality and expresses herself very easily and well within that context. Next scene, Charlie Allnut, who is Humphrey Bogart, tells them the news that war has been declared. Cognition occurs here. He does understand. They do understand what he's telling them, but the news does not seem relevant to them. They, they're wondering what that, what that will do to their lives. So the next slide, we see that uh, as the Germans move in here to this country, the uh, natives are eagerly running to fight someone else's war. They just can't wait to join the Germans and start fighting for them. And then Samuel is the brave male fighter here. He wants to deal with the German officer, so he goes up and he stands up with his courage, but no communication takes place because the German doesn't speak English and Samuel's German is rusty. Now, the German decides that communication needs to take place, so he calls over his assistant who shows Samuel what is all about. He is no longer in control of his created reality. In the next slide, this understanding spreads from his body into his brain. Then, shock enters his body as his created reality starts to collapse. Now the village around the church is burning, and the village continues to burn. Samuel really can't believe his eyes what's going on. The church, which is the center of Samuel's created reality, burns. Now Samuel has receded to somewhere inside his head. He's no longer there. He realizes that his created reality has completely disappeared. Now Samuel, in this scene, Samuel doesn't even know he's in Africa any longer. Now Samuel has lost completely in this last scene. He has completely lost his reason for living. He doesn't understand the world around him. So he just checks out. He dies. I see something like this on a, in a movie, and it really shocks me how different the world is today, how different we are, how, how much we are completely into our own little world of iPods and iPads and I don't know what created reality of our cell phones and our TV, our, our whole culture is just a created reality. So I'm wondering if we did have something that goes drastically wrong with our system, whether that's a financial crisis or um, an earthquake, a uh, declaration of war. How would the people around us react? How would we react? Are we ready for such a thing? Are we, do we think about things like this? Is our own reality stable enough that it can encompass drastic changes like this? Or if we did go through a whirlpool, would we just not be able to take it and would it be easier for us to check out? So I'd just like all of us to consider that, and that's why I put this up here. It's just a talking point, something to talk about. Thanks for watching.